Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of May 2020. Let's see what's going on with you guys. All right. <sighs> okay. In regards to your finances and business, we have the Five of Wands. Okay. So for some of you guys, you guys are dealing with a lot of like inner struggles happening right now. For some of you guys, it could be that you're extremely tired, that you've extremely out um, outworked yourself. For some of you guys, it could be that you've been working nonstop, um, which I haven't got this for any other sign as of now. Uh, so for others, it's been a bit of a lack of work. And for your card, um, Leo, the five of wands definitely talks about very quick, fast paced movement. I see you guys being overworked. For some of you guys, this could represent like if you guys are uh, essential workers, like really putting your nose to the grindstone and there is a need to have some type of rest or some type of repose. So for some of you guys, I think that physically uh, you're getting to the point of being extremely exhausted. Uh, for others of you, this could be your mind going a thousand miles an hour. Uh, what they're telling you here is there is need for balance. There's either a need to uh, accommodate or change your routine, your schedule to be able to get more hours of sleep. For others of you, it could represent that you're very restless at night because you're constantly thinking. I think this is something that everyone globally is experiencing a lot of, you know, difficulty um, in regards to what's happening around the world. But uh, with the five of wands, there's definitely a need to have some type of balance because your body, you're basically pushing your body to the limit when it comes to uh, work, okay? All right, so in regards to your communication for this month of May, you have the Queen of Cups. So there may be a challenge here, Leo, uh, communicating or expressing yourself to, with a water energy. For some of you guys, it could be a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. But there's something about them that uh, you're feeling very challenged. Like you can't fully express your feelings or your emotions. Uh, perhaps for some of you guys, you're holding back because you don't want to make them feel bad. Um, but what they are saying here is, you need to understand that it's very easy for us to critique or judge um, people based on their behaviors, what we consider to be right or wrong. But ultimately, perception is very different. So when I say that, what they're saying here is, if you're judging someone for being very erratical or very quick and hasty in their decisions, what they're telling you here, uh, Leo, is be patient and understand that you were young and immature at some point in your life. If you feel like people are very immature in regards to their age or doing things that perhaps uh, a person their age wouldn't be doing, what they're telling you here is be patient and don't be judgmental, Leo. You were silly or you were immature or you were hopeful at some point in time in your life. So basically what they're telling you here is be more compassionate. Don't be very quick and hasty uh, on judging people uh, based off of your experiences, based off of what other people around you have and, and experience has molded you to be. Uh, you kind of have to keep, um, don't allow other people basically to taint you. And don't be quick and judgmental because you were young and innocent at some point in your life as well. Okay. Okay. So in regards to the challenge for this month of May, you have the two of swords. So the two of swords here, um, I feel that for some of you guys, pride is definitely in the way, especially if you guys are dealing with a relationship, perhaps a relationship that is very toxic, um, perhaps a relationship where your partner had the tendency or some type of behavior of making you feel less than. And the reason for that was based off of their insecurities. And I think that if you're currently going through that, if there's almost this feeling kind of like um, you miss them or you kind of want to be told what to do, and I know that sounds weird, but that's exactly what I'm hearing. It has a lot to do because 
based on how they psychologically work to you, basically, um, you are at a point where there is something that you need to make a decision about in regards to how you deal with this spe specific person. Um, and I'm talking solely to those of you guys that are either in a toxic relationship or recently, just recently ended a toxic relationship. With the two of swords, you got to see things for what they really are. Stop being so hopeful. If you've given this person the opportunity time and time again, they're not going to surprise you. Listen, not to what they say, but to their actions and what their actions have been in the past. You got to see things clearly, Leo. Don't let them fool you. Okay. In regards to love and romance. Nine of pentacles. Okay, so I think that what they're saying here is, Leo, at this present time, uh, it's necessary, almost um, highly encouraging you to take some time apart, to take some time away, or to figure out um, to figure out where you're at at this present time in your life and where you want to go. So use this time wisely to almost crystallize exactly what it is that you're wanting for your future. Now, for those of you guys that recently just ended a relationship, what they're telling you is don't rush into that relationship because it's not going to work out. Use this time to work on yourself, Leo, okay? If you've been single for a very long time, Leo, what they're telling you here is you got to see things from a very different perspective. Like I said, that of being tainted, that of perhaps even being too judgy, <laughs> whatever the situation may be, for those specifically that have been single for quite a while, uh, it's time that you embrace new beginnings. Don't be scared to love. Don't be scared to give each other or someone the opportunity to get to know you on a different level, okay? Now, your card here for Spirit's advice is woman holding a heart. So what this represents to me is, again, tuning into your emotions, really understanding your emotions, Leo. Uh, for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, keep your heart open to the opportunities. Love may be coming knocking on your door. Don't be surprised and don't be cynical when it comes to love. For those of you guys that are currently in a relationship, woman holding a heart is a representation of keeping yourself open to love, but also when we actively see that a person continuously keeps hurting us, you're allowing them to do that. And to continuously allow someone to hurt you and break you down shows or speaks volumes of how much you think yourself worthy or how much you value yourself. Leo, know and understand that you're priceless, that you deserve to be treated nothing but the best. And if they can't provide that for you, don't hesitate in walking away. Love yourself before loving someone else. Okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. And we'll see each other soon. Hope you guys stay safe. Bye.